Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel, and right now there's a lot of people who are trying to prepare themselves for the huge 2.0 update which is coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons on the 5th of November, and there's actually a lot of different ways that you can do this, and there's some steps that you'll definitely want to take before the update comes out so you're properly prepared. Since this is such a big update, there's going to be a lot of new additions and features which you're going to want to make sure you're ready for, and I've been doing a lot of preparation myself. Itself. So I wanted to share some tips on how you should prepare for the 2.0 update in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's jump right into this. One of the main things you're going to want to make sure you do before the 2.0 update drops is make sure you've got a big supply of Nook Miles at the ready. There are going to be a lot of new things for you to use your Nook Miles on right away when the update drops. One of the main things you're definitely going to want to have Nook Miles for is Cap'n and his new mystery boat rides. Each boat ride will cost 1000 Nook Miles, and of course you can't trade Nook Miles with other players, so you're going to have to earn these yourself. It's not used like Nook Mile tickets either, so again, you can't trade them, it's going to have to be purely 1000 miles. So make sure you're getting out there and completing those different Nook Mile Plus tasks that you can do every day, and of course also the other main goals that you've got in the game. I'm sure they're going to add in lots of new Nook Mile goals as well for all the different new features because it would just be great to have more goals to work towards in general and of course give us some more easy miles. Who knows, maybe when the 2.0 update drops the little ABD machine will actually give us a bonus, that'd be pretty cool, and that's another good way that you can get lots of Nook Miles per day. Either way, you'll definitely want to make sure you're prepared so you can go on those boat rides. And that's not all you're going to need to use your Nook Miles for either. There are a ton of different upgrades that you can get from the Nook Mile machine in Resident Services. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here that you're going to want to make sure you have right away when the 2.0 update comes out. So why not go out there and prepare and get some of these Nook Miles so you're ready when it does actually drop. It was also revealed to us that there'll be a lot of new items in this as well, which once again you will need to use Nook Miles for. Now, you could of course trade these with other players, but if you're the sort of person who likes to get them yourself, then there's lots and lots of new ones that you're going to have to get from this machine. I personally have been saving up a ton of Nook Miles so I can make sure I can get everything as soon as possible, but I'm still going to need a lot more if I want to get everything, as it seems like it's going to cost a lot to get all of it in total. Now this is something that I feel like won't apply to a lot of people, but if you haven't already unlocked the art exhibit and met Red in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you're going to want to make sure you do that sooner than later, as it does seem like you might not be able to upgrade the museum to have the new Roost Cafe and meet Brewster until you've done so. Now this isn't currently confirmed, but it would make a lot of sense given the fact that the museum has lots of different upgrades. It goes in this order where you start with the museum tent and then you can upgrade it to a proper building and then you can upgrade the building to have the art exhibit. So most likely there will be another upgrade where you can get in the roost as well and you probably won't be able to unlock that until you've already unlocked the art exhibit. So definitely make sure you go out there and get that unlocked. Not only is it just a really cool thing to have in general, but maybe if you've restarted your island and you just want to make sure sure you can get the roost as soon as it actually appears in the game, this is something that I would do. Even if it isn't the case, it's still worth doing anyways. It was revealed to us that gyroids will be returning to Animal Crossing New Horizons in the next update and I personally am so excited about this. So one thing that I've done to prepare since my island is just so full of items is actually make a separate little gyroid garden. Because this time around you don't simply get to just dig up the gyroids and that's it. You'll get gyroid fragments and you've got to plant them in the ground, water them and then dig them up the next day so they'll grow into a full gyroid. Which I love, I feel like that's such a clever mechanic and it just makes it so so much more interesting since you actually kind of need to work towards getting these gyroids but you may want to set up a little space for your own gyroid garden on your island so that you can plant and grow them anytime you want. Lots of people have been making farms so they can plant all the new vegetables and that's another idea that I actually highly recommend to you. I've been doing a lot of this around my island and making lots of different farms so I can have space for all the new vegetables and crops that come out especially so I'm ready for cooking. But of course you may want to do a farm for your gyroids as well if you're planning on growing lots of these cute new fellas. I'd love for you to let me know in the comment section down below. Do you prefer the new gyroid designs or the old ones? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comment section. One of the best ways 
to be prepared for the next Animal Crossing update is to make sure you have a lot of resources on hand, and this might even involve you going to some mystery Nook Mile Tour Islands so that you can get your hands on lots of different resources like wood, iron nuggets and stone too. I've got quite a few saved up right now because my gut feeling tells me we are probably going to see new recipes that we can craft within this update. Of course we do have new cooking recipes but I don't think any of these are going to really involve things like wood and such so you may want to make sure you get some fish and some mushrooms and collect up your current pumpkins as well. It also seems like fruit can be used in those crafting recipes so basically just collect all the different materials that you can around your island. It never hurts to just pick everything that you can get your hands on as most of it will grow back anyways. This includes flower heads and things like pumpkins and fruit on trees as well. So yeah, every day you should try and go out there and get as many resources as you possibly can. I'd also recommend saving up some of those materials that you got from previous seasons as well, like the cherry blossom leaves and the maple leaves too. Although, it is worth noting that it appears like Kappen will take you to islands that actually do have these materials on them, so if you're missing any, don't worry, it seems like you should be able to get them when this update drops, and you can go on Kappen's island tours. Another good reason to make sure you do save up Nook Miles. Speaking of saving up Nook Miles, it might also be worth saving up Bells as well. Perhaps you could go back on the turnip trade and buy some turnips from Daisy May so that you can sell them on for a big profit over at Nook's Cranny. I feel like there's going to be quite a few new things that we need to spend bells on. In fact, we do see some new stuff that you can get from Nook's Cranny, so you're definitely going to want to make sure you have enough bells so you can buy whatever you want when the update drops. I wouldn't say this one is as important as Nook Miles because honestly, bells are a lot easier to earn, and I'm sure most of us have things that we could sell if absolutely necessary. And of course, you can trade bells too, whereas you can't physically trade Nook Miles themselves. So maybe this one isn't as important as the Nook mile one, but I still feel like it's worth doing because having a lot of bells never hurts. Generally speaking, I feel like it's worth just doing all your dailies every day too, like getting all the different fossils, getting the money rock, collecting lots of different materials, and talking to your villagers, because we never know exactly what's going to pop up. You can also use this time whilst you're doing your dailies to make sure your island has space for new items, and perhaps new villager homes that you might want to place as well. There's just a lot of casual things that you can do whilst playing the game that don't require a ton of time that'll earn you different prizes like Nook Miles as well. The Nook Mile Plus goals basically do involve you just doing your dailies most of the time, so it's always worth looking through those so you can complete them and get lots and lots of different miles racked up. But what are you going to do to prepare for the 2.0 update in Animal Crossing New Horizons? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. I've actually been doing a lot of preparation on my island Kokomo over on twitch.tv slash crossing channel, so make sure you follow me over there if you want to watch me play Animal Crossing New Horizons live. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, show your support, and of course be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.